DXB today. I hope you're having a lovely evening. You might be down at Jitex if you have. Uh, have you enjoyed it? Do send us, our, send us your thoughts on our socials. I'm trying to get a sort of take on uh, all things Jitex 2024. And our next guest, certainly somebody who can help out in that, uh, a leader in the world of construction technology. Now, I've heard of FinTech, I've heard of Agritech. Contech is a complete new one for me, but uh, they're on a mission to, why am I reading this? I might as well uh, get he to explain a bit more. It's an absolute pleasure to have Prakash Sangani join us live here in studio. Thanks for being with us. Pleasure is mine, thank you so much. So Navitech, talk to me about Navitech and talk to me about Contech as well. Because um, sure. there will be a lot of our viewers out there going, what are both of they? Yeah, and, and look, that's one of the things, one of the reasons I, I, I'm, I'm here and, and love to talk about what we do. Um, every, everyone knows about fintech and, and you know, agritech and edu, edu, edutech, edutech right? yeah, and all yeah, of these types of um, I, the ones that people love talking about. But construction tech or contech is, is a really rising uh, asset class when it comes to investment. Uh, what we're doing at Navitech is using technology to try and help the frontline workforce mm. to do things better and improve the, their lives, right? We are in a country which attracts a lot of workers from um, the Indian subcontinent mm. and a lot of them simply don't understand some of the risks and hazards of the work that we ask them to do. They, they have varying levels of literacy and uh, what we're seeing and what we're doing is using the power of conversational AI, um, so large language models, which we talked about a little bit earlier on, um, to help communicate risks and hazards to this workforce um, in multiple different languages, multiple different modes, so um, voice through pictures, through um, uh, in different interfaces, like directly into things like WhatsApp and things like that. So we're really trying to break down barriers between the workers and the work uh, or the information that they need to do their work safely. That's great, isn't it? So what actually inspired you to, to start this and do this? And do you have any competition out there? Um, so inspiration, I'm, I'm from the construction industry. I'm, I'm actually a civil engineer by background. So, and then found myself in the tech world. Um, and what I was doing in the industry was looking at digital tools. Um, construction is one of the least digitized industries in the world, yeah. um, but it's, in, it's digitizing really, really quickly. And so I've built a career in identifying tools, deploying them into the industry. And unfortunately, my, well, unfortunately, my father who worked in the industry um, actually had to retire at the age of 40 because of injuries he sustained to his back. And I was looking at the technologies that I was deploying and none of them would have helped him. None of them would have stopped um, his injury from occurring and so I thought that so from a personal perspective is like um, that's one of the inspirations that um, led me to do it and and I think the big change that we're seeing is a lot more tech focused on this large demographic of the construction industry rather than the white collar workers and helping them write reports a bit faster or write better emails right um, I think there's a better use of this technology Wonderful. Prakash talk about the reception like how have the workers been receiving this technology and also like from the general uh, industry, like are people, are companies signing up for it? What's the, what's the goss? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, the, the way I love describing it, so whenever we go and do sales meetings and pitches, the reaction we get um, on people's faces is a similar reaction that people have when they see a magic trick. <laughs> that, like, on, like, honestly, right? Yeah. So we're, when we're showing them, you know, we take a picture and it will tell you the risks um, talk to it in one language, it'll come back in another language. You can do this directly inside WhatsApp. The look on people's faces is of amazement, like they've just seen a magic trick. So from that, that tells us we're onto something. Um, in terms of reception, we're already working with some of the largest um, giga projects in the region. Um, so we've got um, well, some of the largest giga projects in Saudi Arabia we're working with. We're working with some of the large developers and contractors here in, in the Middle East. So we've got live um, contracts uh, with the uh, industry players, we've got something like a thousand users um, and we're processing um, thousands of messages a, a day um, and helping people to manage safety. Mm. Prakash, I think it, you know, it goes back to the basics at the very beginning of why a business is started is to solve a problem mm. for the people. Yeah. Um, is that something that you would advise uh, you know, entrepreneurs who are looking to start something to look at first in the industry they're interested in? 100%. Um, it, Look, often we end up um, finding technologies and then looking for a problem mm. to apply them to. Mm -hmm. um, the easiest way or the, the least bumpy way you're going to have uh, in your journey to becoming a successful entrepreneur, I believe, is if you've uh, found a problem and, and then go and, go and create a solution to solve that problem. 
Um, we've been recently, as a team, talking about this concept of vitamins and painkillers, right? So a vitamin is something that's nice to have, and, and then if you can afford it, you'll go and get them. But painkiller is something that you actually need, right, to do it. And so um, with this concept of finding a problem and then being the painkiller to that, to that pain point. So Navitac, absolutely knocking it out of the ballpark at the moment, which is great to hear. You're teaming up with all the developers uh, here in the region and further afield. Where are we at with Contact, though, at the moment? Are we just scratching the surface at the moment of capabilities? Absolutely. Um, so there's some statistics out there. Um, so FinTech, um, depending on which report you um, read, um, is about 2% of the global um, financial um, wow. uh, market, right? If you uh, add it all up. Um, Contact is 0.2%. Um, so, um, and usually most of the industries are ranging between like two to seven percent, right? Where, where technology is being applied to it. So, you, from that statistic alone, we've got a long way to go. Um, but the region um, is seeing a huge uh, growth in contact solutions and investment into contact. If you use VC investment coming in or venture capital investment coming in as a proxy, mm -hmm. then um, Contact is one of the fastest growing uh, out there. Before we wrap up our time, but jitech has been good for you? It's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been really good. Um, like the biggest uh, and the best that, that there's been since I've been here. We'll come back for the next year one. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Parish, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I want to know more about this Contact. I want to invest as well, man. Like, <laughs> you've got to be thinking, right. man. Yeah. <laughs> Stick you. around, man. We'll see you soon. Be a small investor. <laughs> <laughs> We're open to all. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah.